we've been talking about, guess what? Maybe you'll figure it out after this. We love having fun with cold stuff, like ice. It's great to skate on. Snow makes it easy to zoom down the slopes. And ice cream, well, that one's obvious. Let me introduce a new contender, liquid nitrogen. At nearly 200 degrees below zero, that's some serious frost factor. Nitrogen is all around us as a gas in the air we breathe. To make liquid nitrogen, air goes through a compression process which makes it super cold. At minus 196 degrees, the gas becomes a liquid and this intensely chilled liquid nitrogen can be used for lots of cold storage applications. It can also be used for lots of fun, but let's have a bit of a safety check first. We need to be careful when we pour liquid nitrogen. You can't wear any metal objects because they'll get so cold, they'll stick to your skin. But liquid nitrogen itself can be quite safe. That's because it evaporates on contact with higher temperatures. So, if liquid nitrogen splashes on the tablecloth, which is much warmer, it instantly boils away into a gas. Hmm, explaining liquid nitrogen always seems to make me peckish. Anyone for a frozen treat? These ring-shaped snacks are made of corn and rice, and they have a porous structure, which means they have lots of gaps. When we drop them into liquid nitrogen, they freeze instantly, but their porous structure means they don't need very much heat to warm them back up. So, just by putting them on my tongue, they defrost again. Good to eat. Now that's what I call a cool snack. For its next trick, can liquid nitrogen blow up a balloon? With just a small amount of liquid nitrogen in the bottom of a plastic bottle and a balloon over the top, we can see a state change taking effect. This bowl of water is much warmer than the liquid nitrogen, so it quickly loses its super chilled temperature and warms up past the point where it remains a liquid. Once the nitrogen changes into a gas, it expands to 700 times its volume, heading up into the balloon and blowing it up. Since we got the balloons out, Let's make a liquid nitrogen zoo. There's no way all these balloon animals could fit inside this box, right? Not when liquid nitrogen is on the case. They all fit in because of this dramatic shrinking effect. At room temperature, the molecules of air inside the balloons are moving really fast, pressing against the insides of the balloon and keeping them inflated. But when the balloons cool down quickly, the molecules slow down and compress together, and the balloons shrink. But don't worry, at room temperature, our balloon zoo will spring back to life. This is because it doesn't take long for the air inside the balloons to start warming back up. That means the molecules inside are absorbing more energy and starting to move and expand again. Before long, the balloons have reinflated and they're back to their old animal shapes. Those demos were fun, but remember, I'm an expert, so you'll just have to enjoy your nitrogen in gas form. If you guessed solids, liquids and gases, you were right. And you can see the whole episode at the link below.